Hey everyone, it's Shy here, and today we're going to be fusing different Sonic characters together and turning them either into cool or horrifying designs. Yep, you heard me. I said we because I have a special guest here on the channel today. He's a talented artist, a fellow content creator, and an all-around awesome guy. Everyone, please give a warm welcome to... Dan Specs. Hey everyone, my name is Dan Spix. I got a YouTube channel where I do a lot of drawing and I like to talk about a lot about the Sonic franchise. Over there I got a whole video series of me redesigning the whole Sonic cast. Not really changing too much, just kind of adding on my own flair, making the designs a bit more lively and what I would like to see them as instead of just kind of the models we have now. Uh, over there I also do some animatics where I kind of draw over some of the Q&A panels or some of the Twitter takeovers that they've done recently and I, I think they're pretty funny so if all that kind of sounds interesting to you uh, be sure to check it out but um, yeah thanks again for coming on to the channel Dan it's a pleasure to have you here uh, thank you for having me on the channel again Shai uh, I'm really excited to do these challenges also you guys can find part one of this collab over on Dan's channel where we draw Sonic characters from memory I'll leave a link to that video in the description below, so please head over and check it out if you're interested. While you're at it, please make sure to subscribe to at Dan Specs and hit the notification bell so you'll never miss a video from him. So without further ado, let's fuse some Sonic characters. So for the first round, our contestants are Amy Rose and Knuckles the Echidna. I picked these two out because their red base color schemes and similar shape language seem like it would be a lot of fun to play around with. And I also may have wanted to see Amy in comically oversized boxing gloves. So it's time to start drawing. And because you're our special guest and drawing buddy for today, you're up first, Dan. Okay, so here's my fusion for Knuckles and Amy. And yeah, like you said, Shy, they do share a lot of the same kind of design aspects, uh, such as with the dreads and kind of the same color palette overall, um, uh, which is a really good start to, uh, for our first fusion. So. Uh, it was really cool to kind of combine these two characters into one. Uh, here I really wanted to uh, demonstrate both of their personalities into one. So here, uh, which come to think of it, actually they kind of share the same kind of raw uh, strength and kind of <laughs> aggressiveness, I guess you could say, Amy with her hammer and then Knuckles with just his brute strength. So I thought that was also a good pairing between them. Here I gave them uh, this, uh, Knuckles' big old boxing gloves because that's pretty iconic between him. Of course I kept the skirt for Amy. And then you can see the dreads. I really wanted to kind of push that uh, kind of movement with the hammer. And then you can see I gave him the spikes for the hammer kind of to combine their two uh, weapons, you know, Knuckles with his spikes and then Amy with her giant Pico Pico hammer. And then here, I liked what I did with the shoes actually, um, with kind of giving the same boots as uh, Amy, but then also kind of giving that like little Lego brick. And then uh, later on, I'll give it kind of that same color palette that Knuckles' shoes usually have. And then you can't really see it, but I gave that little uh, crescent moon shape that Knuckles has on his chest and put on Amy's uh, dress right there. Here I'm just kind of cleaning up the sketch and then, yeah, oh, and I also gave him kind of little shorts underneath the dress. Uh, kind of like what you would use for like uh, kind of workout shorts or something like that. I feel like that was very fitting. And here I decided to give them kind of a really hot pink because uh, I thought it was a cool fusion of both of their colors. You know, Amy just being a bright pink and Knuckles being red. I felt like a hot pink was a good way to kind of combine the two color palettes and it kind of makes them look really cool. Kind of like a uh, more fiery, kind of like explosive kind of personality to them. I just thought this was a really good uh, pairing to start off with. It, it really, the more I drew it, the more I thought about it of how Knuckles and Amy share a lot of the same attributes. So kind of combining them into one is uh, really kind of a good match. And then just going in with the shading. A lot of this drawing was just kind of pick and choosing uh, what I wanted out of both characters. I think I did a pretty decent job of deciding like uh, kind of what design aspects I wanted to pick from both. 
I feel like what would be cool if these characters were to ever fuse with the hammer, I feel like with Knuckles' strength, the hammer would kind of catch on fire as they would swing at enemies. I, uh, just think about this, <laughs> I feel like it would be a really cool uh, kind of like design gameplay wise. Just adding the little bits of shading and highlights and there you go. That's my fusion of Knuckles and Amy. Okay, so for my Knuckles and Amy fusion, um, the main reason why I wanted to pick these two characters in particular is, again, because of the similar shape language and their mainly red color scheme. So I decided to make this design mainly um, on Amy's face, so I kept her, um, her general female anatomy and her, um, her hair or quills or I just extended them just a little bit, a little longer, um, to incorporate some of Knuckles' dreads, and I made her headband have like tiny spikes on them. Um, I didn't think to include the Pico Pico hammer because at the time I was just focusing on the character um, design itself. So I put the spikes on her headband and I changed some of her colors so her shoes or boots are more like Knuckles, and her eyes are now purple. And yeah, here is my fusion of Knuckles and Amy. Okay guys, it's fusion time. So let's take a look at the first prompt, which was Amy and Knuckles. Okay, whoa. <laughs> whoa. Okay, the first thing I saw here was the giant hammer. Uh, and like the spikes. Dude, that looks like... That looks dangerous. It looks cool, but it also looks pretty dangerous. The super long dreads and keeping them pink. I think that was a good idea. I feel like both Amy and Knuckles have very tough, headstrong personalities. So if they just like did the, the Dragon Ball Z and had a fusion and this is what came of it, I feel like it would be pretty dangerous. I feel like that, this is a really, this is a really cool one. I would not want to mess with either of them. <laughs> Dude, oh, <laughs> that's cool. Oh, that's cool. I, I like the little green spikes you uh, you gave in her uh, in her headband. I like that you made the eyes purple like knuckles. That's cool. And then of course the fist. This is really cool. Oh, okay. We kind of had the same idea for the shoes. Uh, actually, they're really similar. Wow. And then same thing with the moon shape on the chest. That's cool. I really, I really like that. They they really do fit uh, each other so well. Oh, that's cool. And of course, just uh, your shading is just incredible. And for round two, we have Big the Cat and Dr. Eggman. I thought this sounded like a great mashup and I couldn't wait to see how this turns out. So would you mind telling us what gave you this idea, Dan? Alright, so here's my fusion with uh, Big the Cat and uh, Dr. Eggman. I really choose, I really wanted to do this pairing because I thought it was it would be really funny and just overall it's so goofy. These are two of the probably goofiest uh, characters in the whole Sonic canon, so I just thought uh, fusing the two would be perfect. Of course, they do share a lot of the same kind of proportion, you know, they're kind of the tallest, biggest characters out of all the Sonic characters, so I, th I felt like it was pretty easy to kind of uh, combine them into one. Uh, much like Knuckles and Amy, again, they do not really so much personality-wise, but design-wise, they kind of share the same kind of proportions and all that. While drawing this, I didn't know if they would be evil like Dr. Eggman or if this character would be more goofy and uh, kind of uh, unaware like big but um, I feel like it would be a more exaggerated of both he would he wouldn't know what's going on but would be kind of mad and uh, upset when <laughs> he uh, was kind of confused a lot of the time so I thought that was funny yeah, I kind of wanted to give it like a little menacing 
but a little goofy vibe with the posing. Obviously the hands are like kind of showing off his power, but the stance is a little awkward, much like Big. Uh, the tail there, uh, I thought it was really cool. Usually Big's tail like sticks up, but I thought it would be since kind of Eggman is a more elegant, I guess. He's more proper, he's more confident. It would kind of lay flat to the ground. And then here, I really like this uh, concept I did, uh, combining Big's belt with kind of Dr. Eggman's look. I kind of like the belt buckle I gave him as it's kind of mixed between Eggman's uh, logo and then just kind of adding Big's fe uh, features into it. So I thought that was a little nice touch that I put into there. Also kind of with that cross slash with the belt and then uh, the lining in the middle of the jacket, it really gave me some uh, uh, Robotnik vibes from the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog cartoon or Sad AM. Kind of that little cross he would have on his uh, design there. For the mustache, I had a really hard time. I wasn't sure how I would approach it. And I didn't know whether or not to keep it white for Big or to keep it brown for Dr. Eggman. So I kind of like fused it to where it was kind of a gradient where the more out it went, uh, the more brown it would become. And so yeah, kind of fusing it I felt like was a good kind of natural way of going about it rather than just keeping it one color or the other. I was gonna kind of make him uh, with a little more mad expression, but I thought, you know, bring out the goofiness in both characters, you know. I feel like if this character were to ever be introduced in the games, he wouldn't be taken as seriously, uh, which neither Big nor Eggman are already, so I just feel like he would be kind of a laughing stock <laughs> between the whole cast, but I would love him. I would love if this character existed. But yeah, just kind of finishing up, uh, adding on the final shading, the final highlights. But yeah, that's my fusion of Big the Cat and Dr. Eggman. Okay, so for my Big the Cat and Dr. Eggman fusion, I was really nervous to tackle this one because their anatomy is not something that I'm too familiar with. Like, I've drawn Eggman before, but I've never drawn Big, like, ever. So, um, for this being my first time, and having to combine these two together was kind of nerve-wracking, but I was also excited to try it out, so. Um, yeah, like Dan said, their build is really similar. They're, like, both round and Stock, is stocky the term to use for this? I'm not sure, but they're both very tall and sturdy characters, so um, I mostly wanted to make this design kind of like a grumpy fisherman, so like he isn't exactly evil, um, but he's just like very snarky, sarcastic, kind of pessimistic, but all he really does is sit around and fish, so I thought that would be kind of funny. <laughs> So yeah, here's my fusion of Big the Cat and Dr. Eggman. Let's take a look at yours. Dude! <laughs> oh. oh, it's loading. Oh, yours is so cute. Oh, he's a little grumpy guy. Oh, I love it. I love him. Oh, that's cool. Hey, he's, he's mad because he didn't catch any fish. Aw. Oh. I like how you kept his ears down because he definitely has uh, Eggman's anger issues. Uh, I really like the, and the tail too. I like how you made it all jagged to kind of fit with that personality. I like how you did the shoes too. You made it towards Eggman's uh, pants but then they, they like they're really big kind of like uh, big feet instead of more slim. Oh that's cool. I really like that. <laughs> oh gosh this is oh no. Oh no. Dan? Dan what have we done? I feel like I oh no oh no <laughs> um okay Big and Eggman are already like really goofy characters on their own uh, but I feel like you managed to mesh both of them together in a way that doesn't look as terrifying as mine did <laughs> like you you the the logo on his belt was brilliant but he also looks like he could haunt my nightmares. 
Okay, this is super cool, but also like really terrifying at the same time. But it was still really fun though. And that pretty much wraps up this video, guys. I personally had a lot of fun coming up with these designs, and I'm fairly happy with how all of our drawings turned out. Your artwork looked amazing as always, Dan. And it was a pleasure having you on my channel today. Speaking of which, do you have any final thoughts before we sign off? Yeah. First off, I want to say thank you so much for having me on the channel, Shy. It's a huge honor to be working with such a highly skilled level artist such as yourself. Your art is truly amazing and I really can't get enough of it. And for those of you watching at home, if you really like my stuff, uh, you can go ahead and check me out at DanSpecs. I got a YouTube channel and an Instagram. Uh, the YouTube channel, of course, that's where I post all my videos, and then Instagram, I just kind of post little updates here and there, and just little stuff that I'm doing. I really liked how our fusions turned out, just seeing kind of the similarities and the different approaches we took while designing them. I think they came out really cool. It was really nice working with you, Shai. Hopefully we could do something again in the future. The pleasure was mine, Dan. Thanks again for coming on the channel. Again, part one of this collab will be over on Dan's channel, so you guys make sure to head over and check that out, and subscribe to both of our channels so you'll never miss a video from either of us. And with that said, we'll see you later. See ya.